Education news, CCISD students now less than a week away from heading back to the classroom. They go back on the 26th, but some report cards are already in. Not for the students, but for the campuses they attend. We reported last week on the fact that the TEA has released school ratings across the state. And tonight, our Taylor Adonis looks at a couple of schools in the CCISD that have made their way to the top of the list. Taylor. Joe, both early college high schools within CCISD that partnered with Del Mar College scored an A. Overall, CCISD received a B, which is a step up from the C they received last year. The TEA breaks down their ratings between student achievement, academic growth, and relative performance. We talked with the principal at both Branch Academy and Collegiate High Schools about how they continue to keep their score an A. Tracy Rodriguez attributes the grade to students' willingness to learn their partnership with Del Mar and their small classroom sizes. We are a fairly small school, so the support we provide is very custom, uh, customized to the student, individual support, um, and it, we're a small learning community. Rodriguez says something a lot of people don't know is that Collegiate and Branch Academy aren't a gifted and talented campus, but they host at-risk, economically disadvantaged, and all special groups of students, just like any other schools. When it comes to other CCISD top scores, Veterans Memorial High School also received an A rating, along with several elementary schools and the Early Child Development Center. And the only school within CCISD that received a failing score was Haas Middle School.